Hey guys, this is Apple Gamer 247. I'm here to give you guys a vlog today. Sorry guys, I haven't been making um, a vlog in a couple of days. I should have done one uh, the day I got my 21.5 20, inch uh, iMac. But um, I was busy that night transferring my um, applications, documents, and um, so on. Everything's over. So I just got done doing that uh, last night or earlier this morning. And now I'm ready to do um, some videos with it. So um, the first thing I do want to mention before I start going into the topics. Um, is that I will be using ScreenFlow to make um, my vlogs, I think. Because to set up my camera, my camcorder um, with the tripod, with um, the be able to reach it with my finger and the, um, all the get all the lighting set up, it's just way too hard and way too time consuming. So I'm going to be using ScreenFlow because it's here and the quality is nice and you can see my desktop. So, um... Yeah, so let's start. Um, the first thing I do want to talk about is a little mini review of this 21.5 inch iMac. First thing I have to say, it runs quick. This is blazing fast. Now, I did compare it to my older iMac, just with thoughts. And when it comes to rendering HD with iMovie or um, rendering a graphic with Photoshop or doing something with Aperture, this thing is probably four times faster than my iMac because when you export a photo from like Photoshop you used to like sit there for an hour and render out and with HD video it would take about two to three hours actually with HD video I would let it run overnight and then upload the next morning but this this um rendering HD takes about maybe 25 to 15 minutes and um photos take about five depending on the size but this thing is fast um, the screen is absolutely gorgeous. The screen is huge compared to my other one. Um, it's got a nice resolution, nice contrast, nice color. Um, and that's basically all I have to say about it. I have no problems. Um, but also I will talk about more about this in my review, which will be coming up um, maybe in a few weeks or so. I'm not really that sure since school's starting to get back up. But um, yeah, sorry about the uh, the uh, messages here. Let me just close this out um so yeah um the second thing i want to talk about is a little review of the magic mouse i will talk about this in my review also but here it is in case you guys haven't seen it it's like a curved mouse and what this is is it's multi-touch so um on the top so when you scroll up it um moves around with your finger and it's a really nice mouse now when i first um play around with the mouse in the store i wasn't really too impressed so that's why I picked up the um, Logitech mouse, but as soon as I um, picked this up and actually hold one my, my own, I actually felt very comfortable with it, and actually more comfortable so than I did with my Logitech one. So I'm um, going to stick with this mouse um, for a while. Um, the Logitech one will probably be used either on my laptop right behind me, or I will give it to uh, my dad or something. So, so far with the Magic Mouse, Magic Mouse looks great. I'll probably make um, a little... Um, tutorial on how to get um, extra gestures because I haven't downloaded any of those yet but I know you can get some extra gestures. Um, moving on now, I know I've been talking a lot about Apple products lately but I do want to talk about the Genius Bar experience um, that I had. Um, as I said in my unboxing of this iMac that I have been having problems with this iMac since July I believe and um, there's a fan issue um, they say it was a software issue, so they just um, reinstalled OS 10 and then gave my computer back. Um, I was fine with that. The problem was solved. And then um, around last week, no, two weeks ago now, um, my iMac started to make fan noises. had some graphical glitches. Um, screen bro uh, The screen was broken, and something was going wrong with the optical drive. So they placed uh, the screen, the latch board, the CD drive, and I think the video card. I got back um, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. And then um, it lasted three days, and then the sound broke, which connected to the logic board. So they said the logic board um, is shot. So it would say it would take another week for repair. So after a few phone calls to Apple Care and a few um, phone calls to the Apple Store, I got a call from um, an Apple Genius admin, and he said that I will get a um, new iMac. He um, discussed some options with me and offered a free data transfer if I needed it, but I was all set since I had the backup on Time Machine. Um, but overall, if you have any problems with your um, Mac or iPhone or iPod, the Genius Bar is the way to go. Um, first of all, my two, my um, my experiences, my last two experiences with the um, ones they've been 
pretty bad, but the um the last one was great because they um what they realized is that what they did actually this guy was telling me is that they took they looked at my purchase history and they looked at how much stuff I bought from Apple. Um, I think in the last um two to three years and there was a lot there was my twenty inch Mac, um my Apple Touch sixteen gig that was stolen, my Apple Touch through two gigabyte, um my Apple Wireless keyboard, um I don't know if this counts, but they did have something about a display adapter, um, RAM, I think, a, a lot of things. But they did say um, they would offer my offer me a replacement. But um, yeah, so that was my Genius Bar experience. I will make a full review of Apple Care um, coming up sometime later, um, either later tonight or tomorrow. But um, yeah, so moving on now, and more Apple news. If this is sort of like the Apple vlog. Um, there's an Apple event on the 1st. Now, um, I won't be covering the event at all. I'll probably just make a quick blog post about it on my site. Just um, explain what they announced. But I am very excited for this event. Um, the reason the way is, is because there is um, a few new products I do want to see released. Not just for myself, but a few other users as well. Um, so let's run down the list of rumored um, products. A revamped Apple TV that's renamed ITV that runs iOS 4 or some version of iOS. A iPod Touch with a front facing camera for FaceTime and possibly a back camera. A iPod Nano, this is pretty new, an iPod Nano without a quick glue, but it's a touch screen. Um, don't like the concept, but I would like to see what it does and then maybe consider it. But I'm waiting to see what Apple does with the iPod Nano. And the iPod Shuffle will um, be uh, like a 1.5 inch um, touch screen that does simple controls, not running iOS, but this does play, pause, stop, volume up and down, stuff like that. Um, also, yeah, that's about it, um, with rumors. Um, starting off with the ITV, um, I do want to get the ITV if it does run iOS because if you can download the apps of the app store, that's practically a gaming console and disguised as a TV box. I mean, the app store is great, it has a ton of great games. Imagine playing Fruit Ninja with your, um, with your um iPhone being the controller, like they made some type of controller app for the iPhone or iPad, um, which is supposed to be the remote, by the way, and um, you can just play console games, um, HD, um, stuff. So I'm very really excited about the ITV product. Um, the iPod Touch, um, good for the iPod Touch. It's getting camera and FaceTime because um, I'm not really too big on iPod Touch since I got the iPhone. Um, iPod Nano, I'm excited to see what they do with it, um, same with the Apple Trouble. So that's my thoughts on the um, September 1st Apple event. Um, let's see what we got here. Um, I did get my free case from Apple while I was gone. Um, here it is, it's on my iPhone right now. It is the InCase Snap Case um, by InCase. Um, it is a really, really nice case. Um, I don't like that the that this side, when you take the case off, it slides your volume thing, but it is a nice case. I will do a full review, um, possibly, sorry guys, I'm just closing this up in here, um, possibly in the next few weeks too. So this case is nice. Um, and now, the last thing I'll talk about is videos, videos, and videos. I have a lot of videos to do since I've been behind. Um, first of all, um, 21.5 21 inch iMac review. Magic Mouse um, tutorial. Um, I will be getting an iPad in October. I don't know if that counts, but that's a video. I guess that won't be coming until October. I guess um, the in case um, case review, and um, that's about it. I might throw a few tutorials in there if I think any, but I don't believe I will. And sorry about the mic. I heard a freaky noise. I don't know what that was, but I don't know. But um. Yeah, it's basically all about half of videos right now. Um, so thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.